decks have been judged. That one's got no space. The pros of each deck have been compared to the cons. It's a little tight on the railing. In winter, there's always a victor. Here go tell him. Have fun. And we've got one too. Team One's deck is a multi-level hot tub haven. Shut up. This is an intricate piece of design. Three levels. Shut the fuck. Plexiglass privacy screens. A nice pergola over the tub. Shut up. An elephant. This deck design is well thought out and well executed. The size is a little small, but with the furniture they have, it simply works. Team 2's deck is solid and functional. The plan was to keep it simple, yet right. elegant, and that's what they achieved. The 8x8 posts around the hot tub are a great design feature that really anchor the whole space. And the single level decking is effective in its versatility. Both of these decks are worthy winners, but someone's got to lose. Alright guys, come on over! It's about that time. It has been a crazy two days. And I gotta hand it to you guys. You guys have done an amazing job. You got two very different flavor decks here. Team one, you guys took a creative approach, a really creative approach. And to be able to pull off what you guys did in two straight days, uh, you would never what believe I it. I'm still looking at it. I can't believe how, how much you guys accomplished. Two thumbs up. Great job, you guys. Nope, Team not two, this time. You guys took a more practical approach. And yet still threw in some pizzazz there as well. This is not an easy decision. We have looked at the decks. And at the end of the day, we have made a decision. Bring up the tension music. No, not that one. That one. Close up on Gray. Close up on Gray. Now back to me. Now over to what's the space? To the aerial cam. Come on! And the winner of Deck Wars is. Treasure that, I really do. Treasure this, treasure always hanging up in the wall. It was a tough call, it was a tough call. That stuff tastes really bad, by the way. Feel bad for Ryan. Feel bad for Canadian Ryan.